the 90s where we used to watch a lot of PBS and they'd have they'd have these documentaries late at night and um, so there's this one particular documentary series on PBS that I really liked. It was an anthropological thing um, called Girls Gone Wild. And I don't know, I don't know if you guys remember this, but um, it was really educational. I learned a lot about mating habits and stuff. And um, <clears throat> so I thought, wow, I should totally write a song about Girls Gone Wild, but then I couldn't do it. I had to, I, I, mentally as a songwriter, I couldn't get into the, the documentary mode of Girls Gone Wild. I had to pick one and just think about her and focus on one girl gone wild. And I wrote a song about her. Um, and you gotta check out this lick. Mike didn't believe last time I played it that I, that I wrote this, um, but I did not write it. <laughs> the girl's gone wild The neighbors say She climbs the trees when I'm not looking she must be trapped under the influence of something so strong But I'll be damned if I can find it The neighbors look at me as if there's something I could do But the girl's gone wild, I think What would Neil Young do? If she was smoking something funny Think old Neil would sit her down And sing to her about the gold rush Have her pass the bowl around The neighbors look at me as if there's something I could do But the girl's gone wild, I think What would Neil Young do? One thing Neil Young would never think to do is change the key. The girl may have gone wild, but she is still the same tree hugging, pea corn and granola eating goofy girl. Dying. If she was doing something so completely dangerous, it's playing with a good man's heart. I still contend that with a girl gone wild There is no martial stack on earth Loud enough to drive the message through The neighbors look at me as if there's something I could do The girl's gone wild, I think What would Neil Young do?